What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And what we're going to be doing is jumping into a weekend league game. And this was actually a game that I... I think I was already playing it uh, live on stream when I had, um, you know, I had Tom Brady for a couple games or whatever, but I wasn't recording the previous games. And it was funny because the, the previous games before this one, th this is about to be a hell game. And this guy's going to try to DC glitch me at the end of the game. But the games prior to this were all rage quits. And it was hilarious because Tom Brady was so pinpoint accurate that dude just couldn't deal with it. Because let me just explain something to you guys, right? In Madden 19, I'm starting to understand a lot of the stuff that goes into, um, the attributes that makes the quarterbacks throw the ball accurately. Now, what I'm seeing is because Tom Brady's deep throw is only like an 86 or something like that, right? But his short and mid is so high 90s that it kind of reflects on the entirety of his actual throwing stat, if that makes any sense. Put it like this. Cam Newton is absolutely the worst quarterback you could ever use in this game. Some of you guys still like him. He will screw you over soon. Don't worry about it, bro. I love that you guys liked it. Yo, listen. Cam Newton threw a ball and hit a waitress on a flight, bro. And when I look, he's so bad in this game. But if you guys like running around like idiots, I can't stop you from doing that. Like, if you guys like to run around in circles and then throw the dot off your back foot, Tom Brady is your guy. You know what I'm saying? That's your guy, you know? But again, if you want to just sit up, like, you know, get a pocket, get a clean pocket, sit there, make a read, and throw the ball accurately, Tom Brady is that guy. Now, I've been getting several questions about, yeah, um... You know, is he, he's really, really slow. Does that matter? Bro, let me explain something to you guys. Read option hasn't worked like efficiently since Madden 25. Let's just let Madden 25. They had everything right, except for that stiff arm glitch and the pancake blocks, bro. It made you want to go to IHOP and just order around. Like you, it was just really ridiculous. A lot of the stuff that happened, but overall it was a really, really good game. Like I'm telling you right now, if you gave me Madden 25 with this mutt content, I probably would lose my family because my wife would leave, bro. Like, I wouldn't get off the game. Because remember, the mutt, the mutt content was decent back then, but it wasn't as good, good as it is now. And there's so many things going on. And, like, a woman can deal with a lot, but, like, when she wants to watch her, you know, we got to watch shows together. We got to go to the movies. We got to go out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, those things you have to do. If you, yo, Madden will make you not do that stuff. This is literally the only game that I've, I've ever played that over the last three years that have been really, like they haven't been up to par, but I'm still addicted. You know what I'm saying? But it's just because of the love of Madden. And we try to deal with a lot of the stuff. But anyway, get like I was just really, really disgusted. I just got a safety, so I just kicked the ball out of bounds like an idiot. I, didn't, I don't even know if I intentionally did that or if my kicker is just an idiot. I have no idea, but it doesn't matter. This guy just wanted to run PA crosses and be an idiot the entire game. So this is going to be a sweaty. Once you see a guy come out like this, he this is what he's doing, bro. He has on the binoculars from like, you know, like, what, is it binoculars? Like, what does Sherlock Holmes have on his eye? He has that stuck in between his butt cheeks and he's sitting on it and he's actively playing Madden. When you see a guy come out and run this kind of offense, that's what he's doing. Because it is no, and he has his TV off also. His TV's off. So he doesn't even know how he's doing this. More than likely, it's probably his dog playing the game. Probably gave it to his dog. And like Fido was just out there running around and just doing whatever. Because that's what happens. He's running the same play and for some reason... With the way that the game is, like, even if I put zones where they're supposed to be, keep in mind, that's Team Diamond Jalen Ramsey and Team Diamond Xavier Rhodes, and they're both playing like complete and utter idiots, and there's nothing I can do about it, all right? So just make sure you understand that, and understand also with the zone coverages, just because you see me in a certain coverage, I do pre-snap adjustments, so I change my zones. It, I, I often never, unless I'm in like a cover two stock, I never usually... Um, just, you know, play the defense that I pick. I always change my route. So you might see guys in man. You might see guys in hook zones, purples, uh, deep blues, deep halves. You might see them playing differently with the actual gameplay because I adjust it. So don't worry about all that stuff. I actually sit and figure out things myself, and then I learn how to stop certain routes, and I go with it. That's pretty much what it is. Now, this guy, you see the stuff that he's doing, and he's just going to throw it anyway. This guy right here, man, he answers the door butt naked, bro. When, yo, like this dude, yeah, I don't know how to really describe what this guy does because he's making me so angry just looking at the fact that I had to go through this. And then after I go through all of this, he has the nerve at the end of the game to try to do that disconnect glitch where you play with your router. Now, look, Tom Brady threw that, right? And you, you see where the ball would have landed? In any other Madden, right? The, the way that the defender can jump the ball, he wouldn't have been able to jump that because that the, the ball was let out a little bit in front. But in Madden 19, 18, 17, and 16, after the patch, after the first patch of 16, they've altered the way that the defenders play it. So you can throw a ball, a ball deadly accurate, 
and it still won't get to your receiver, and they'll let you they'll let somebody jump in and do whatever they want. Like that's just something that's been going on with Madden over the last three or four Maddens. And that's something that a lot of people have gripes with and they find it difficult to play the game because if you have a dude that's like, you know, Randy Moss and he's he's out in front and you lead past the ball in front, there's realistically no way that that guy should be able to pick it. Because if you remember, you got to run all the way up, turn around straight and pick it like that. It doesn't make any sense. He just, th- see, that's what I'm saying. His TV is obviously off. Because he's throwing the football right to me every play. He doesn't care about it, bro. Throw it right there, bro. Yeah, yeah, right there. There you go. Jalen Ramsey running for 6-2. Nope. He's going to do a move that I didn't do because they got real player movement and guys are just running to the right or the left erratically. I don't understand why they're doing it. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. All you have to do and understand is this, right? Don't worry about Tom Brady's speed. Worry about the fact that wherever you throw the ball, that's where it's going. So look, what did he just scream? He's you know, but that was that was six man that was a six man rush though. But that, good blitz, bro. We're gonna block it now because my O line is ready for all that. I didn't realize what he was doing before that, so don't worry about it. it. It's not really any screamers unless you're sending edge heat, and then you know it depends on those things. Well, you got the uh, you got the loop blitzes too out of three three five odd, but even that now with the most recent patch, you could pretty much block it. You just have to most of the time you just have to ID the guy. Sometimes you have to do a, a couple um, more additional steps, but no blitz is is like really like screaming in after the most recent patch. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, right? So Tom Brady, when you're throwing the ball, it's going to go exactly where you actually, like, like say you lead pass it with Tom Brady, right? If you lead pass it, it's going to be, it's going to be put right out in front. Like right there, I led past that to Jerry Rice and he's garbage. I was telling you guys that in my last video that he's garbage. He's like, what are you talking about, G-Boy? He ain't garbage. Yo, let me see the gameplay. You saw that? He was wide open. And then he got an animation where he just didn't care about the ball being in front of him. Don't worry about it. But anyway, like I said, these throws that I'm making, like right here, you see Randy Moss on the left? When we throw that bullet pass, you see where it's landing? He's the, like, he's the only quarterback that I've used that does that. And remember, Mike Vick has a better deep, uh, deep uh, throw accuracy than him, and Michael Vick has never thrown the ball like that. So because of the way the game is overall, sometimes the computer or your opponent is going to be able to click on and pick it because the game doesn't make sense. Because remember, you're running top speed. It's no way that the guy just turns around and is just able to pick the ball and do it like that. But that's the way that the game is. Sort of like if you streak the ball, like to your tight end, like right there, if it's an open field and you high pass it, what's going to happen is, I mean, and and you don't high pass it. If you bullet pass it, even if you're like 10 yards ahead of the person, they'll still make the guy underneath jump the route and pick it. That's like new stuff that EA has put into the game that I don't think that that's going to change because it's like they would have to go back and start from scratch. And I don't think they're going to do that. But it's really, really bad for the game. But you, we have to adjust to it. So what you're going to have to start doing is you're going to have to start high-passing the ball, all right, holding L1 and throwing it just to be safe so that you don't throw picks in those instances where, you, you know, where it's like a streak and it's like straight on in the slot right there and you try to throw it to them. No matter how far below they are, they're going to still give them some type of action to be able to pick it. Just so that you're aware of that, I just want you to be very, very clear with the way that works so that you're not amazed about, but you know, right there, look. Okay, bar, yeah, don't get an animation. Oh, that's a pick off the ground? All right, run for six then. Run it for six. I don't care if I pick it off the ground. It don't matter. This guy is so annoying and he's such an idiot. But it doesn't matter because ultimately all we need is for Tom to get us down the field and we know he's going to do it. We're not, look, you see that right there? Now look, they let me, they let him drop that ball, but just look at the, look at the precision. Whatever I just look, you see that? You see, like I was right there in the tight window. Cam Newton would have threw it to the defender underneath, and he literally did that in the game I played. That that just shows you, like I said, that could be considered mid range. But just look at the field. Look, you see the field. Look at R one. Now, when he throws it, for some reason, the guy stays in bounds. Any other quarterback, that guy's going out of bounds. But because it's Tom, terrific. And then now we motivated the rest of the team. This dude is getting, you know, breaking tackles, going for six. Because Tom Brady, just it just rubs off on everybody, bro. Now it's a little bit for your moms, a little bit for your moms. Like, we out here doing celebrations, dog. And this guy is still going to run PA post shot. And he's going to throw a pick because he's stupid. But this is the hell games that I go through. He's a moron. So what I did right here is I just ran plays so he could use his timeouts. He came, you know, he was run command and doing all kind of weird stuff. It's all good. I don't really care because I know that, you know, offensively, he just wants to run PA post shot. So I'm not really worried about it. I got the D. He may be able to get some of the plays off luckily, but it's not going to last forever. We just got to be smart and understand where we got to put our safeties and what zones to switch to. And it doesn't matter where he crosses it out. He almost made him block that too. Like EA was just, EA is on a path 
to just make everybody go crazy playing this game. Like, they really just go out of their way. Because if he would have blocked that and took it for six, bro, this video would have never come out because I would have broke everything that's around my area. So, look, now he's just going to outright just throw it up for, you know, throw it up for a pick because he's an idiot. But it doesn't matter. That's not what this is all about. What it's all about is what he's going to do next. As I try to knee the ball, right, no need to try to rub it in or whatever like that, the dude's going to pause the game, okay? Once he pauses the game, you already know what that means, bro, because I'm trying to hurry up offense, and I don't even know you could pause the game during hurry up offense. So I try to resume the game. You're going to start seeing the signal that, you know, the, um, you know you'll lose a connection or something with, with, you know, the connection right there. Whenever you see stuff like that and the guys are doing that, they're playing with their connection to try to lose connection because sometimes – you, you won't, it won't be a win, it won't be a loss, or they'll get a win. It's like, it's very, very random. But he doesn't have to worry about anything because now that you guys are seeing the video, he's on PSN. Okay, that's his PSN right there. He's a glitcher. No matter what happens, he that's what he does. So not only am I going to make sure that EA Sports knows about him, you guys know about him. So if you guys get video proof of him doing it, just tweet it to me at G Myers World, and then we can just add it to his file so that EA Sports knows that if it comes down to it, it's not a coincidence that people are getting disconnected by that specific PSN. And that's how we start to clean up the community as far as DC glitches. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, one love.